as we do a recap here. The product line, how do you decide, how do you go to market? Who do you go to market with? Is it because you want to sell certain stuff? You know, John Patton or John Payton talked about how Journal Register or Digital First Media, they have that fire hose of a new product all the time. Well, that's what do you want to sell. That's the wrong way of looking at it. Instead, what do local businesses want to buy? Isn't that more efficient, more effective, more to the point, more, well, just more logical? You're driving your local reps insane with a fire hose of products. But God forbid you actually have your reps ask a few questions to the local business community. Hey, what are you buying? What do you want to buy? There are consultants to, that tell you that you can't really rely on your really bad reps because your reps aren't very smart, especially your older reps. They are so ingrained, they can't sell anything digital. They're bad. Do you have anybody telling you that? Your older reps probably are more, more mature and more likely to succeed because they're mature. They have more marketing and sales maturity and background. Anybody can be sold or anybody can be taught to sell digital. A 21-year-old kid with an iPhone could be taught to sell old school media. Don't tell me that can't happen. Don't tell me you have to use an outsourced method for research. What do people want to buy? What should we sell? Let's, let's buy this $10,000 research package. Newspaper, this could be TV and radio as well. Who do you focus on, your needs or the needs of the local business? Of course, as a newspaper person, we think we've got to focus on journalism and page views and lots of them, and we've got to think that paywall thing going. Yeah, New York Times, almost 500,000 people paying for a New York Times digital subscription. Of course, they are the New York Times. We have to keep that in mind. But that is a good sign that sometimes paywalls can be helpful, but for small or local newspapers, that can be a real challenge if you blindly follow the success of the New York Times. You know, a lot of newspapers say, how do we make money with mobile? Are you going to a session or a webinar where the title is called, How to Make Money with Mobile? Mobile is not ready for prime time profitability yet, but mobile can be useful to enhance your sales products. Newspapers are focusing on apps. Maybe you should talk to Mr. Greg Osberg of the Philadelphia Media Network here in Philadelphia to see how that app thing, that iPad thing, or that uh, device thing, whatever they called it, how that worked out for him. Newspaper folk, we need more Facebook followers. We need a higher CPM or a higher effective CPM. This is all focused on us, 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 us. you got to focus on the needs of the local buyer, the people with the money. we got to think about the small business needs. They care about being found in search. Most people start their search for buying shoes or Italian restaurants through Google. Can you help them with that? Can you help them look better online? Can you help them using social media? Every single one of your businesses, your current print clients and clients you don't have, they care about Facebook and how to use it properly, how to use Twitter. Guess who they would trust if it was offered? Probably the local newspaper person. Small business, they want to build up a customer relationship management system, build up a database, or build up a whole bunch of email addresses, right? You can help them with that. Small business would love to have video. They can't afford cable TV. Too expensive, too cumbersome. Online video is the way to offer small business a great visual medium, inexpensive, pretty good looking if you do it right. You can outsource that if you don't want to do it in-house. Small business cares about promotion of their product and their service and their business. They want to build that customer database like we said, and they care about social media. Of course, I doubled up on some of this stuff, so uh, just to make sure you were well aware that this stuff is extra important.